Hey guys, um, just real quickly, um, doing the timing cover without removing the head. So, all that garbage is out of the way. And the book is saying, well, the Haynes anyway, I would assume the FSM is probably similar. Uh, it's saying to remove, first undo the, the, or loosen the bolts for the diff. Um, on either side and then remove the cross member and I wanted to make sure these bolts right so that it can actually move obviously it can't go down if I don't remove those but um, just wanted to be sure and then it said to move the steering linkage out of the way unbolt the pitman arm etc and I doubt it's that one right so um, I thought the pitman is the idler uh, which is new I think it's a moog I got it a while back from uh, um, on some clearance thing at NAP or something. I don't know. Anyway, deal with the brace on that later. But does that mean I would have to remove? Sorry, don't mean to shake. Um, this bolt and that bolt in order to drop this arm down. I, I'm assuming that's what it means. Um, I remember what a pain this was to get in, so I want to be sure that I don't like remove the wrong one. I'm just asking to to double, sh you know, to be double, double sure. Um, thanks for all your help, guys, and your patience. And uh, I would be very grateful if somebody could tell me on that one because I don't want to, you know, start unbolting the wrong things. Man, look at that shock. That is very old. Can't wait to get the yellow OMEs in here. That stabilizer is much bigger too. So anyway, it's saying to remove the cross member, drop the linkage, and lower the diff by an inch or so or something like that, I think it said. It did not say to, you know, drop it down as far as it'll go or anything or remove the bolts. It just said to loosen them so that you can drop it down enough to get the pan out. It said nothing about the oil pickup tube, which I find strange. Um, and then uh, my other question would be, if I'm doing this, and I have it on jack stands right here on the frame, this part of the frame is what I was going to use. Uh, like X was saying, Triple X was saying, you know, to, so that I, nothing's in my way as much as possible. So there and there, I was going to use the jack stands to hold up the suspension, you know, so that I can, you know, remove stuff and let it hang a little bit. And then uh, I'm not sure if I have to lift up the motor a little bit just to give me a little extra space. I'm not exactly sure where I would jack it up. The only place I could see was um, in the bell housing. Um, and it's very tight in here. That's another thing. I was looking at the oil pan thing. I think it has to come out, man, because I, I can't see any way to clean any so many parts of it like around the edges here there's no way to get in there I don't I mean even if I dropped it an inch because it's gonna hit there on the diff anyway it can only drop so far uh, I guess it could drop kind of at an angle like that but I don't, I'm not sure man I, I think this is it would be smart just to take it out if I can you know, obviously, I don't want to lift the whole motor up, but... <sighs> okay, so those are my questions. Just a little guidance would be good. I'd appreciate it. And uh, then I'll get to it ASAP. Thanks.